Namaste, love and light, my beautiful to all my beautiful star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. Of course, I send y'all my love, light, abundance, and prosperity all day, every day. Love y'all. Somebody miss y'all. Somebody saying I miss you, okay? Or this could be like a parent. They could be saying like they miss y'all, like you and your kids. Maybe you been separated from them or you live at a distance okay somebody could be burning your hair for like a, in a ritual for a ritual that they're doing against you somehow they got your hair and and this person is obsessed with divination listen i pulled some cards already y'all could be a pisces or a gemini sun moon rising or you could be dealing with a pisces or gemini sun moon rising all right and rather you that sign or they're that sign this karmic energy all right is obsessed with divination you don't have to be these signs okay for it to resonate with you overall but these two signs are standing out the most they are obsessed with doing divination on you okay it's almost like these people are projecting that they want you to rise up like whatever they was sending towards you was positive energy all right but i feel like it was the other way around all right and they are only saying this because you could have found out they got caught. Like they didn't expect for you to know. They really didn't expect for you to know. Alright. I'm getting they didn't expect for you to know that you was protected. It's like this is someone that was trying to cover you in dark energy so you won't be in light. And I feel like this is someone that went out their way to do this to you. They could have been doing this for someone and they realized that the the shit backfired, their spell. I'm getting their shit spell backfired. Listen, I'm getting, the karmic has a trickster spirit behind them, following them. And it has a trickster smile, smirk on its face. I should say smirk, not really a smile. This is not really a good thing. I'm not getting like a friendly vibe. I'm getting more like I'm a trick you type of vibe. This karmic needs to be careful with who he or she is talking to spiritually. And this can even be like a human that's a, a trickster. They're being tricked by someone around them. But they can't see it because they're so focused on what you're doing. Someone was definitely obsessed with doing divination this is like black magic this could even be them reading tarot cards pendulum all right looking into your energy these people didn't know how protected you are when they first came at you they they probably heard you say hey i'm protected hey you can't get me i'm protected by the most high i believe in god okay i believe you know i'm tapped into the christ consciousness y'all believe in jesus i'm also getting you believe in your ancestors. They thought it would just play. Like, you were just saying that just to scare them. I don't know why you would need to scare them. Like, you're protected. It's like you are scrapped up in these spiritual streets. You have to be, you know, strapped up. You have to because it's like, it's real out here. It's real out here in these spiritual streets. Like, dead ass. All right. And I feel like, honestly, your karmics are attacking you because you're gifted. They don't want you to be clairvoyant or, like, see what it is that they're doing to you behind your back. They don't want you to hear the things that they're talking about. They don't want you to be connected or, like, click in a good way with your audience. I feel like this person, they want you to, like, click in a negative way. Like, maybe click offline, click on people. You just be clicking, switching on people. Like, they could be trying to send, like, a demon. I feel like it's an entity it, you know, this person could be trying to say they're using the ancestors, but I feel like they're using demons. I'm seeing them using demon magic. All right, someone taught them how to conjure a demon, like how to conjure protection from the underworld or ancestors from the grave or some sh I don't know what it is. I don't do this type of stuff. Spirit just showed me what the, the karmic put out there, and, and I have keen eye vision. I have keen eyes, good vision, okay, and I'm able to see what they do, but I never tried this stuff. All right, but... This karmic is obsessed with your astral projection. They're trying to see like your astral traveling. So these people are nuts. All right. They're also jealous because you have a divine purpose. And a part of that divine purpose is you holding the divine blueprint for others here. Okay. This is like the same old story. We keep getting the same energy because these karmics are literally falling apart while we rise. We are rising right now. All right. Some of y'all can be a Pisces rising. Or, like, you're really dreaming like a Pisces and you're following your dream. Like, you're following your destiny. Like, people can see that energy coming from, like, within you. Like, they can see that within you, that you're following your destiny. All right? Someone could have definitely been trying to lie on you. You are definitely gifted. You are definitely psychic, a medium. All right? These people are obsessed with divination. They're obsessed with you doing divination. 
they're really obsessed and they're trying to like play like they're not obsessed with you like it's you it's not them they will never be but they are low-key silently secretly obsessed obsessed with your gifts obsessed with the fact that you're gifted all right they can't take it they can't it seems like they can't stand it you know what i mean because they want to be gifted okay they want to be gifted like you they want to embody all right your light i'm getting bestowed again they want they want to like have your gift all right they want to have your light to be able to give to the world so they can receive 10 times back what they gave out and listen that's the main key your light is attracting a lot of abundance prosperity good energy because you're following your destiny your purpose so you have a big purpose a big destiny you're meant to help many i'm literally seeing like a list of names that you're meant to help it's a lot of souls that you it's like an assignment you came here on assignment and the, and you're here to help x y and z amount of souls or this person that person and for a lot for a lot of you guys it's a lot like over ten thousand people but some of you guys some of y'all are going to be speaking at like an audience or something i'm getting like a stadium as well i don't know why i'm getting a stadium all right maybe some of y'all children play sports or something but i'm just getting like y'all gonna be speaking in front of an audience with like more than ten thousand people and it's like it's going to be like equivalent to like a stadium audience as well i don't know how much a stadium can hold okay but y'all are going to be successful i feel like this karmic knows this about you like you're meant to achieve and accomplish a lot and you're meant to be successful and they're trying to take that from you okay they are obsessed with your gifts and they are also obsessed with saying that you're obsessed with them Like, they keep thinking about you being gifted. That's what I mean by obsessed. And they keep, like, thinking about it over and over and over. For some of you guys, y'all create content. We've been talking about that. They could be watching your content over and over and over because you're so intuitive. And you're picking up on, like, the right stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this stuff is, like, the things that they're trying to hide. Now, for some of you guys, if you create content, any type of content... People are going to be obsessed with your your energy. And this is like a good obsession. Like you're healing them. Like healing sessions. You may get like back-to-back -back clients. People want to come back for more. Okay. I'm just getting like they are obsessed with you. They are obsessed with you. And I feel like your life is going through a cosmic change right now. Ogun could be working for you guys, protecting you guys. Yeah. I feel like you have a lot of protection because you're a sea of light worker. That's a part of your assignment, your mission. That's how you're going to be helping a lot of these souls. You could have had a warlock following you. They, I feel like they already been destroyed. They were trying to be king. All right. But I feel like they're not meant to be king here. Wow. I feel like someone's a Satanist. This this ex could be a, a draconian that's a Satanist. All right. You have your saints, ancestors, and low eyes around you. You have the holy gift. Yeah, I feel like you could be praying to your ancestors, saints, and low eyes, and to God as well. And you're receiving God's protection. Some of you guys are also going out in the sun a lot. Okay, basking in raw energy. God's energy here. Hop, jump, and I'll leave. These karmics, I feel like they try to come for you so long. And they ended up tiring themselves out. Like, wearing themselves out. Okay? They're tired. It's like someone is trying to say that they're going through a star seed activation right now. And that's why they've been, like, sleep, resting, or relaxed. I feel like, honestly, this person, they're really trying to put on, like, they're this activated star see i feel like this person really been sick i feel like this person been sick i don't feel like they've been you know going through anything spiritually they saying they're going through a huge ascension you know they're a huge mess who is this I feel like this person's coming for you so hard this is why the, the energy is being exposed i feel like they were sick this is someone that know how to utilize their logic against people this could even be like a collective group of people hey 
you know, this could be a reader that y'all watch here. They're they're not being honest about their journey here. I feel like, oh wow, you guys are serious. I feel like, man, listen, take out resonate, y'all. If this is some, like, if this could be about a reader that y'all watch, or you could be a reader, you got a reader attacking you, or this is how your karma is attacking you. All right, I feel like you guys are an activated star seed, and this karmic been trying to steal your light, swap energies, and they're trying to hide this because they see how dumb that is and how wrong that is. But at the same time, they still fiend for your light, and a part of them still fiend to get you, like get at you, like that's what I'm getting. Like they like scare you, put you in fear. Like this person's still holding a grudge. This person is trying to say they're Arcturian, Assyrian. All right, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like they really a Draco. All right, and this could even be a female too, okay? She's like in her masculine energy, low vibrational energy. I don't feel like she, she don't know what energy she's in. I feel like she's lying to the people. I feel like she's lying. There's someone out here that's lying to people about their messages, about who they are, about their ascension, and, and like their spiritual journey. Someone is lying about their spiritual journey. All right, this karmic is lying about their spiritual journey, and someone's a Draco, okay? Straight up and down. Like, I'm getting like a Satanist, okay? Listen. They're trying to make it seem like they don't attack people. And they do attack people with black magic. They they, they just keep it in silent because they don't want people to know. What criminal want people to know about their crimes? And identity. Wow. They're not who they say they are. And their intentions. Their intentions is not real. But like it's a mystery. You know, when people, it's like people don't really know this person's true intentions. You know what I'm saying? People who's having a hard time feeling they real or they're not. You know what I mean? And I feel like, it's like this person don't even know what's going on anymore. Like I said, they don't even know what's going on. Like they're spiraling out. Okay. Oh my gosh. They could read tarot. They are obsessed with their gifts. I keep getting that. And like with God here, this person could be trying to use God to tap into your energy like God. Show me this, show me that. It's in the room dead. This is really sad, you guys. This person is abusing their gifts. They're abusing their divination. All right? They are a, a, a divination abuser. Okay? Yeah. They are a divination abuser. They abuse their divination and even against the collective by lying and projecting and having false intentions and they even get other people to do spells for them and to attack others this person know they're fraud they know they're crook they know they're cruel they know they're not a good person they try to say all this stuff about you, but you can't mention nothing about them. Look, all their spells got sent back. This card was standing out. We'll see it on the side. All right. They, their spells got sent back, and they started to create more conspiracy against you. Once they realize this, this person is crooked, man. They're crook. You're a twin flame. All their spells got sent back that they were trying to send towards you and your twin, and they get so scared because they worry, what about me and my twin? What twin? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? This person is not telling the truth about their ascension. I'm telling you. They're not telling the truth about who they are. They're like an imposter. This is like someone that's saying, I'm a Syrian. You know, I'm Arcturian. But they're really like a Draco. Like, they're wearing a mask. Like, they're fooling people. Like, they're like in reptile energy. This could even be a Jezebel. All right? And they're trying to put on like they're a divine feminine. But they're really a hoe or they're just really spiteful, cold. They're not healed. You get what I'm saying? They're putting on. I'm telling you, this person is, listen, they're depressed. They're, I told you, this person is not healing. It's like they're not coming up from their sadness. They're not letting it go. They're not looking at these two other cups that did not spill. This person is still crying over spilled milk. Part of that spilled milk is how they couldn't attack you, get back at you, destroy you, kill you, kill your vibe, kill your tribe, kill everything. They want you to, like, stop being in your flow. They even made, like, sacrifices and offerings. They made an offering to sacrifice you. I'm seeing them putting, like, fruits. And certain things that the ancestors like in favor. And, and they were supposed to like sacrifice your soul for this karmic. I'm telling you, man. If that shit would have... Listen. If that shit would have worked. This person don't realize how gone down 
that hill into a whole bunch of boiling hot lava rocks they would have been in. Like, literally. Seeing them going down a hill unexpectedly into a bunch of hot lava rocks. They didn't even expect to be in this hot lava rock. Listen, that shit was a dangerous game that they was playing. This person is going around in circles. They're, they're in some type of weird dimension here. That they created for themselves. This person is not a light worker. They are not an ascension guide. Alright, an ascensionist. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Expert of ascension. Okay, they're not a messenger. Alright, they're, they're trying to say they're messaging the, the Syrian star beings. They are like this person. They done stole content from you for some of you guys I'm getting. This person, is. they trying to pretend like they're not stressed. They really put it on a good show. But nothing is working the way they want. They may not be receiving like that. Even though they put it on that they, that they are or soon they will stop. This person is all in their head. I feel like they got demons in their mind. It's their karma. This person don't like to like say it or admit it. I feel like they have a mental illness. I'm getting schizophrenic. Okay, schizophrenia. And this could be because of their past traumas and they never healed from it. So it grew that seed. They plant, that's, it, it, a, seed a bad seed was planted. That's what I should say. And it developed into a mental illness, schizophrenia. All right, and this is not to joke or kid around or make fun. No, this person is harming people. They're attacking you. Come on, if they're not treating their mental illness, they can be very much an endangerment to society. Even if they have depression, bipolar depression, it, they can easily click, switch. You get what I'm saying? This person is a clicker. They're a switcher. That's what I meant to say. This person be flip-flopping and switching a lot. They be flip floppy with you. You can't really trust them. And it's because they really can't trust you. So you just operating out of the energy that they're in naturally. All right? Because I feel like spirit is doing that to protect you. Honestly, this person is thinking of you. Thinking of different ways to leave you out in the cold. I'm telling you, that's their mental disease. Whatever it is. Their mental disease make them ponder and plot and, and calculate on people. And I feel like it's also their heart too. Their, their soul. All right? They're in the pain and the traumas that's residing in their heart. But all that pain in their heart is going up to their crown. And and it's it's just not healthy. It's just not good, man. It's just not a good thing for them. Let's see, Spirit. Tell me about all this over here. Look, I'm telling you, this person is lying. They're lying behind the screen here. This person is wounded. I'm I'm telling you. This mofo saying, Oh, you know, I've been, you know, healing, ascending downloading messages they're wounded behind the screen and they're watching you come up they're watching you manifest come up energy they are watching you manifest abundance fortune all right they see you coming listen with this queen of pentacles i'm getting fortunate like you're making money like this is business oriented like you guys i'm seeing like resources this is money like you guys are creating money manifesting money through your creations they see you manifesting and and this is someone that's like they in competition all right so when they see you manifesting that's when they want to get up and manifest you like their motivation but the thing is they in competition they're not like you know receiving it well this person like i said they're sitting behind a, a screen pretending like everything is fine but really behind that what i should say is they're sitting behind the screen wounded but projecting to everyone in the public all right that they everything is fine and dandy they're all good everything is great but really they're spiritually wounded it's like they can't see out their third eye i'm telling you they're spiritually in prison they did too much black magic I feel like it's the ancestors there's many ancestors that love and care about you that shows up as the king of cups for you that's fucking this karmic up it's like i'm telling you man that crown and their third eye fucked up because they've been trying to tap into your energy so fucking much i'm getting buzzed like they like somebody could be having a hangover all right yeah or like that's what i'm getting like they woke up feeling like buzz like still like kind of like drunk someone could have got high for the first time they still woke up feeling high all right so i feel like someone definitely feels weighed down take it out resonate all right for some of you guys this is spiritual this karmic crown is messed up their third eye is messed up because they've been utilizing their gifts to tap into your energy to, to, to download information. They're a liar. This person is online lying. They attacked your twin flame. They attacked the twin flame. This is sad. They attacked the twin flame. This mofo is a Draco or they work for Dracos or they could even work for your ex. This is sad. 
Your ex could be the water sign. Look, look, tower, boom. You broke up with your ex, I'm getting. This ex could be going around saying they broke up with you and you was crying and begging to be with them. Like, you was, like, begging on your hands and knees. Like, like they was making it seem like you was begging on your hands and knees to be with them. And I feel like it was the other way around and they got rejected. It's like you didn't care if they, they fucking licked the floor. You walked. You wasn't taking them back. All right, but I feel like a karmic is secretly is, 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 is having a tower, receiving the tower, even right now, throughout the days. And they're pretending like that's not happening. Like, they're going through changes. I'm telling you, they fucked up, man. Their mind is fucked up, and they're facing karma for having a fucked up mind. They're receiving karma. I'm getting that with the Six of Pentacles, receiving karma. And that's why they are in this mental space, because they are receiving karma subliminally, subconsciously, silently. In the dark, they're receiving karma. They're seeing spirits entities and it's because they was effing with you they opened up that portal that gateway that doorway for these entities to come back even if they could have put out their closed the door locked the door so they won't come back them entities still came back because your spirit guys are more bigger and stronger and more and and, 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 and they're protectors they're bigger and stronger than this karmic protection and they're they're going to protect you by all costs they don't, the spirit don't care if this person doing a spell to protect themselves so it won't get sent back this person know they should not be doing this and i feel like they're mad because you guys are still winning, and, and their spells are still being sent back to them. It's like they're still feeling their attacks. Like it's like it's not. I feel like their magic bin stopped working. I'm just seeing all of the energy that they're putting out there still, and it's not manifesting because this person bin lost their power. They're really all in their head. They're really just all in their head. That's why everything that they do to manifest against you manifest on them. And this is someone that's trying to, like, manifest good fortune while trying to take your good fortune, too. Like, you you know you got to go to jail. You know you do. All right, some of y'all could be seeing lizards, iguanas I'm getting. Okay, some of y'all may live in um the Florida, well, Florida, South Florida. Okay, with that iguanas. Some of y'all live by, like, a beach. All right. Some of y'all may see alligators. This person is in spiritual jail right now because they are facing karma. All right. They're facing the tower moment. It's like somebody's going to lose their house. Somebody's going to be like losing their home. Their home got destroyed. Their whole home caught a tower. Somebody don't either have health insurance, life insurance. I don't know why that popped up. Okay. I feel like this karmic don't have life insurance. They're all in their head about how maybe they should have that or maybe someone should put life insurance out maybe they, somebody want their husband to give them life insurance you know sign up for a life insurance policy or something like that and he's telling her she have to sign up too and she could be mad because she only want him to do it she could be trying to plot on her husband or some shit they kind of resonate but i'm also getting home insurance Okay, and I'm getting, somebody's going to be losing their home in the midst of getting, like, sick, severely sick or fatally sick. Someone could have tried to manifest that on you for you to lose your home and then you die of a sickness. Who is this person playing God in your life? And they, they, may, they may try to say it's not God, it's the ancestors. But you commanding the ancestors to do that. The ancestors not just about to sit up here and do that. This person trying to make it seem like whatever, you know, karma you receive is because the ancestors are dishing it out because of what you did to them. But they're not important. Who are them? They feel special. Whatever they got going on in their life make them feel special. But this, it's like, if no offense, karma, but the spirits don't look at you like how you look at yourself because you have a wicked and evil heart. This person think that, they want you to think that the spirits or the ancestors want to do this to you. But I'm getting, they told the ancestors this. They was like, we're going to put out a, a curse, a spell for you to catch many towers. And this was supposed to like slow you down. You were supposed to die. They all did group rituals for you to die. This is why they're spiraling out right now. Yeah, this is someone that could be at work. Or y'all do the same type of work, and they wanted you to catch a tower. They're trying to blind you from seeing this. And this is why their third eye is blinded. Because, first of all, they're not supposed to be tapped into your energy. They want to see all your energy, but they can't see in yours. Bitch, what type of... You, what, you an investigator? Are you getting paid to investigate this shit? You're not an investigator. You're wasting your time and energy. That's why they feel like the victim again. They, they feel like the victim. They feel, And it's, like, it's almost like I'm getting there victimizing themselves. Or, or, no, I'm getting like they're making themselves feel like the victim. But this is a person that could have tried to victimize you. They were strongly in their ego. I feel like this is someone that thought that they was, like, stronger. 
Like, they were strong enough to, like, overcome any tower that gets sent back. Like, they were strong enough to overcome their own magic. All right? Like, if they could have been, you could have told them, or they just know, it, you know, it could get sent back. And they're all in their mind thinking, you know, well, I can overcome my own magic. If, if it gets sent back, oh, well, I'm strong enough. This person is not strong enough. I don't feel like this person can take what they dished out. They thought that they, they that they could be or they would be, but they're not. I feel like this person was strongly in their ego. All right, they. I feel like this person is is catching a tower. They're falling apart for being fake. I told you this person is fake, Star Seeds. I told you it was fake from the start. They was always fake. All right, and they see you receiving your material harvest with this happy squirrel. And they want you to, like, face karma first, face judgment. Learn a lesson before you, you, you receive this. And God said, that's not your story to tell. It's not your story to tell. There we go. It's not your story to tell. So they're facing karma. They're stuck in the nine of swords. I'm telling you, somebody has a mental illness. And they're spiritually wounded. Yeah, their mental space is bad. They may have a migraine. Their crown is fucked up. It's like they're also being told to never do it again. This is their karma. Yeah, I feel like someone has a mental block here. Somebody got a mental block. And it's, it's and that mental block is because of demons. Some, and some type of bad seed, seed grew in their mind. Okay? You know, they say your mind is like a garden, right? And if you think negative enough or you allow your traumas to get to you enough... You know, it's going to plant that negative bad seed and you're going to think everyone is the same. All right. Three of Cups. These could have been a group of people gossiping about you. All right. And a group of people that teamed up to work against you. These could be like fake friends. They all teamed up to work against you to take your, your um, material harvest. And they all got karma. They all got striked. All of them, they trying to get you targeted and they got targeted. I feel like they were trying to take your ten of pentacles. They were trying to take your ten of coins. I'm telling you, they were... This is your inheritance. They were trying to steal your spiritual inheritance so they can come up in life. These are like a group of witches that do this shit for a living. Steal other people's energy. All right? And they couldn't get away with doing that with you. And these people, they try to make it seem like that's not real. That's not true. Ain't no a group of witches. It's them. Of course, they're going to make you think that. These people want to stay stuck in this. They want to stay stuck in that shadow energy and, and fool people. They, It's like, I'm getting, they're going to keep rejecting that they did anything to you. They're not going to admit it. They're never going to admit it. All right, I'm getting not even to the police. They will, they, they will lie. This is someone that's going to keep lying. So keep your defen your defenses up. Keep your defenses up. Your defense system. Keep defending your dreams, your destiny. Keep defending your purpose, your soul, your spirit. Keep protecting yourself. All right, because since they're not going to admit to their wrong, even though they know deep down inside that they're wrong, all right, they're going to keep pretty much projecting to you that they're not doing nothing to you. And I feel like they're doing this so they can get over on you and, and make you feel like small compared to them. But since they don't want to stop, you got to keep yourself protected. And that's what Spirit is saying. Since they don't want to stop, we got to keep protecting you. It's like nothing's going to change. It's like Spirit don't know who, who this person think that they are. That's what Spirit is like. I'm saying. I don't know who you think you are, but you can't come through us. All right? It don't matter if this person try to mask and, and, and put on like they just... Love and light person, they're not. I'm telling you, somebody is behind their screen, computer screen, phone screen, fucked up. And they're projecting that everything is all good. They feel empty and lonely inside. They feel soulless. Somebody did, I'm telling you, they did an offering. They made an offering for your soul to be sacrificed. They woke up with a piece of their soul missing, a huge piece. Yeah, and you guys got to move forward here. They're saying you you working with the devil. They, they told people you using the devil or you know issue i'm getting okay because i did get that trickster energy earlier they could be using papa leg by their line and saying you're using papa leg by to kill them they had people thinking that for a while but i feel like people 90 90 percent of the time people thought this person was a bit like loony or they really i'm getting crossed the line I don't feel like these people who they was talking about you with knew that this person crossed the line with you. Like, they actually hopped and tried to cross the line, that line, that that barrier, that borderline. Okay, somebody could be, ooh, okay, anyway. So I'm getting someone could be going borderline retarded, okay? And I feel like it's their crown. Like, their crown is being affected by all this magic here. But I feel like 90% of the time, people was in their mind thinking, like, that's that's probably not true. Like, most likely this person could be doing something and they're trying to get themselves out of it. But, but people didn't tell that karmic that because 
they know how to play their cards right. They not they know this karmic just gonna try to come up with another excuse. All right, or or they gonna keep going on so people just like okay whatever. All right, I feel like this karmic wanna reconnect with people now who who moved on from them and and they see these people doing them. This person is a lost soul. They lost their soul. It's somewhere in the cosmos. I'm seeing like bits and pieces. All right, some of them I'm getting some of their their um soul parts is bound to the other world underworlds. I'm getting other soul parts is somewhere wandering in the cosmos because they keep putting themselves out there with their spells. I'm surprised this person ain't ain't gone yet. Because this person done, listen, they better consider themselves fucking lucky, all right, that they ain't gone yet, especially this Draco X, he could have been doing a lot of soul sacrifice spells and working with other people to sacrifice your soul, he should be glad, the Reaper, I feel like the Reaper is here, but I feel like the Reaper is torn with the Karmics, I don't feel like they, he done got, they got them out yet, obviously, and he may toy with them, toy with them for the rest of their life until he's ready to get them, but I feel like this person, they created spells. Like, they created spells in certain timelines that uh, that was supposed to integrate in your current timeline, so you will die. This Three of Swords is giving me, like, you separating from your physical vessel. Like, they're putting a dagger in your heart, and then, you know, you'll be cracked, and your soul will leave your body. You'll be dead. They wanted you dead. Get you caught, and, it, and it was, it's like this person was trying this ex or whoever else it was all right because it could be a female karma that's in competition it could be a fire sign to gotta resonate they were trying to get you and your divine partner crossed up and their spell work well mainly your person because they this ex wanted you back or this karmic female didn't like the fact that you are with your twin flame okay and and it's like you and your person are finding your way together you the wayfinder light worker they don't like that i feel like you guys are gonna like complete a whole life cycle of you like being a light worker that's like your life purpose getting life's choice it's like you definitely made a choice to do this and it just so happened to be your life purpose like and in some of you guys you could have found out this was your life purpose and you accepted it you made a choice to accept it a lot of people could find out about their life purpose their destiny but they're are they accepting it are they doing the work are they doing the healing all right, I done told a few people about their destiny, and they did opposite of what they were supposed to fucking do because they was not healing. All right, I can present to you your light, but are you going to heal so you can see that light within you too? Or are you going to keep doing bullshit and expecting God to just hand you all that you want and need? That's not what's going to happen. So I feel like this person is just running around all over the place. You're blessed. You're anointed. You're super blessed. They can't crack you. You're shielded. You're anointed. I feel like this karmic could be saying, I don't believe in none of that stuff. Or I don't believe you're anointed. Well, hey, nothing worked on you. Like I said, they better be glad that they're still alive. Considering that they gave themselves out there like that. Listen, but this temperance here, ooh. This person smell like shit. They smell like, somebody's, what is this, dog? Somebody smell like dog shit. Something about dog shit is significant. Okay, but this person was trying to use your spiritual protection to shield themselves, and that didn't work. I, I feel like this person is in their mind wondering, thinking, like, they don't even know why they, they, they should be alive anymore. They got a shadow behind them in their ear telling them to think these things, like, think negative. It's like whispering in their ear, but they can't see it. All right, and, and it's like they maybe hear voices in their head. You get what I'm saying? And they got them thinking real weird. Yeah, they hearing stuff with this page of swords. I'm getting they hearing stuff. And, and, and it got them like a, a a bit like alerted. Like, huh? Like, what was that? Like, inspired idea, inspired thought. Like, hmm, maybe one day I should just go ahead and, and put a gun to my head. Like, that type of energy is not good. And it's almost like this person is incited to do it. Like, they want to do it. This is not good. I'm telling you, this person, they, they, listen, I don't feel like they can go to anybody for help anymore. This person feels so small. They feel like a child. They done went down from the king of wands to the fucking page of wands. This person is being controlled by the devil here. All right, someone is playing chess. Okay. I feel like, honestly... There's an entity or a spirit playing chess with this damn karmic life. I feel like it's because they, they offer their soul. They bargain their soul to this entity. So it's just playing chess with their life until they're ready to just end the game. Or maybe this karmic is playing chess with the entity to break free. And I don't really feel like they're winning right now. 
They could have accepted some type of challenge to get their fucking soul back. All right, a lot of stuff. Listen, I don't want to go too deep, but I, what I'm seeing is that this karmic could be trying to fight to get their soul back somewhere out there, and they got to play chess to do it, and they're not winning. They're not winning. Yeah, their magic killed them. And I feel like it rooted them. Their mad, I feel like it's activating now here. Somebody's going to die of some type of disease or a mental disease. It's their karma. Look at that. They should have never played with, with black magic. They should have never played. They know now, but it's too late. Someone learned their lesson so far too late. Like out of 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 years too fucking late. That's what I'm getting. And it's time for them to face karma. Someone is facing severe karma for messing with a divine masculine. All right, this bitch could be even facing karma for messing with her own divine masculine. Yeah, somebody was, was collaborating with others to attack a divine masculine. And they all facing karma now. And this is God's doing. God is, like, happy that this is happening. All right, because it's time for them to reap what they sow for what they've done in their past, their past life. This person is the devil. They conjure the devil. They conjure, like, creature, creatures and monsters and send them after people. I'm telling you. And they did this in many fucking lifetimes. This person got, like, demons and entities smiling at them. And they think these entities and demons are cool with them. And they're not cool with them This queen of swords She conjures souls for a living Alright like this could be like her practice um, I mean her practice her, her skill Her business She conjures souls from the grave Like she used the grave She worked with the grave You get what I'm saying She do this shit for a living Alright and she could be watching you Seeing you be successful Seeing you get in your way It's like these people see you doing good It's like they know they can't do nothing to you they know they can't do nothing to you, but I feel like, honestly, these people, they, they try to cut you out of your birthright, your prosperity, you still get in. Like, they still could be talking shit. Whatever they're saying, it's just building you up. You can feel it, you can pick up on what they're saying, but you guys just understand it's because you're doing something right. These people want to make it seem like you're wrong, you're wrong. They're so negative. Don't allow these people to get to you. Don't allow them to get into your head. I know it's hard sometimes because it be coming at us a lot, but you just need to protect your crown. Burn some sage think opposite project it back all right send that thought back because it's not yours okay send that psychic attack back feel like y'all about to receive well like about to receive i'm getting received well like you're going to be well off you're going to be receiving a lot like you're going to be receiving so much you're going to be well off and you're going to be able to leave this for your kids i'm telling y'all this is a promise this is the hard work that you're putting in these come trying to say you you're you're sneaky you're doing black magic to do this if you're using lot if you're utilizing magic to bring in prosperity, what's wrong with that? You get, and, and they need to explain what black magic is because that's the same shit that they're using to destroy you. This person is a fool. And they don't realize that they're a fucking karmic fool. This could be an Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Scorpio, a Scorpio male. Take out resonate or female. All right, somebody. Somebody could be a Scorpio rising. All right. Scorpio Mercury. If that's the case, they have a huge calculator manipulator. Okay. All right, some of y'all could be water signs here. Y'all are really beautiful. I feel like you just being intuitive just make you even more special, even more beautiful. Like your beauty is mag is 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 magnetized or magnetized. All right, I feel like your beauty is it stands out more because of your intuition. All right, it's like yeah, your beauty stands out because you're intuitive. I'm telling you. All right, I like that. Listen, your beauty stands out because you are intuitive, star season. That's true facts, okay? Incredibly intuitive, all right? And that's what they can't stand. And intelligent. They know they can't get nothing past you, and they, they hate that. They're juggling. Somebody is up and down. Somebody have bipolar depression with this two of pentacles and the five of cups. The five of cups would be depression. Two of wands would be some two of pentacles, sorry. Be someone that's up and down. All right, and, and you see the water, that would be like emotion. Somebody could be a bit emotional. I feel like someone has bipolar depression. Somebody is, and I'm getting bipolar schizophrenia. They could be borderline bipolar schizophrenic. All right, and I feel like it's their demon magic. It's their demon play. This could be a masculine. Like I said, or someone that's like 
all in their feelings like they're unstable emotionally they can't control their emotions they, they could be breaking shit or they want to they could be going crazy in their mind they're, it's their spells that got sent back i feel like this person they're not right in the head i'm this is standing out again their head somebody head is banging all right, somebody's head is banging and it's making them feel so low down and depressed because they know it's their spell that got sent back. Somebody was helping this ex-masculine do magic on you, black magic. And I feel like it could be a female karmic witch. Her head is on fire right now. She could be really mad because she's going through this migraine. This is like, what's worse than a migraine? I'm getting diarrhea as well. Wow. Somebody could be like shitting a lot in the midst of having a headache. wow this is this is illness this is sickness you see they fucked up man come on now somebody may even get banged up in a car wreck because he got this damn broken leg and they could hit their head i mentioned this somebody's gonna be homeless barefoot homeless or they only gonna have like one shoe who is this that's wishing this on you and i'm seeing um I'm hearing papa lazarius he want me to call him that papa lazarius again this car will represent him Five of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like he's coming to bless you here, to get you out of poverty. I feel like he's showing you compassion. Like, you don't deserve to be in this Five of Pentacles energy that these karmas are trying to hex you with. They could be trying to use the Saint um, Papa Lazarus, and, and he's working for you. Yeah, I feel like someone's into Saint Teria. That's what I'm getting with this hierophant. Like, that's their spiritual practice, the Saint Teria. And they could be trying to use Saint Lazarus to leave you in poverty. Okay, they could have, like, tried to, like, go to someone another witch right like i said and they and they use um papa lazarius well it did not work okay it did not work somebody could be a fucking gemini you could be a gemini going through this or you was dealing with a gemini that was doing this like somebody was like playing both sides playing devil's advocate all right that's what i'm getting somebody was playing devil's advocate big time all right and you still the privileged lady and you still intuitive like your gift is going to make you a lot of prosperity and I feel like you could be creating a lot with these gifts. You're, whatever you're creating is for the community. I feel like somebody's trying to downplay what you're doing. Like, oh, you just do this. You just do that. And, and they're not trying to take in consideration that you put in hard work and hard energy. And these people are trying to block you, block your stoplight, and block you from branching out and, and doing anything else more. Yeah, this person, this song is called Talk. They talk. All they do is talk, talk, talk. They talk about you all day. All right, if you guys are readers, they talk about your messages all day. Or they watch your messages all day. Or you guys have a collective group that watch you all day and they want to pay you. They want to pay you. They may be super chatting you, um, donating to you, sending you gifts and loves and, and all that. This could even be a promotion at work. Like, and some of you guys, you can you like had a feeling you was going to be fortunate. This could be you, hit, you guys hitting lottery. Some of y'all done hit big, mega. I'm getting a mega number. Well, what is that? I don't... I'm getting manga and number. That y'all need to play that one. That's that that lottery name to have mega. All right, like you. I'm getting your intuition. Know that lottery number. An ancestor may come down and give you that lottery number. It may even be in a um a dream here. Wow, y'all listen. Y'all need to really. I'm getting a receipt. Pay attention to whatever like receipt. You you may see like a receipt in your dream. All right, and or if there, yeah, I'm seeing like a white sheet of paper. And look like a receipt. That and uh, a tax receipt. Do you have to file your tax? I mean, file your lottery and your taxes. I think so. That's significant. I feel like this is going to become real because I'm getting that tax, um, in energy in it. Like I think you put that on your taxes or some shit. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But I'm getting it's on like some type of receipt or like a sheet of paper that may look like that small, like a receipt, and it's gonna have a group of numbers. I believe you should hit that, and it's with that lottery name with mega so y'all pay attention to your dreams i don't know the number i don't know no karmas come to me no snake ass mofo oh she know the number so i'm gonna go ahead and plot the killer i don't know the number i don't know i just told you guys the collective to check your dream this could be even like a grandparent grandmother dropping you a number here this even listen it may uh, listen some of y'all gonna hit really big and some of y'all may hit big on a scratch off like maybe a thousand ten thousand all right, some of y'all, you may hit like 30,000. All right, it's still going to be big. It, it may not be millions for some of y'all. It may, it may be millions for some of y'all. Y'all may hit 30,000. Some of y'all, y'all going to hit back to back, I'm getting. I'm not even going to lie. Back to back. All right, I'm, I'm not joking. Back to back. Just take it how it resonates, all right? 
Especially if this is chosen for you. You feel it within your gut. That is for you. Okay. But I know all the way it goes. Y'all gonna be very fruitful. Your intuition is fucking right about something. And it made you extremely fruitful. I'm getting fruition. Your intuition is coming into fruition. Literally, this is fruition here. Four, I mean, nine of pentacles. And, and queen of cups is intuition. I'm telling y'all, somebody is shaky and nervous. Who is here shaky and nervous? They may be nervous of you hitting the lottery. Somebody could have, like, betted their life. They the so... I, I, well, who is this? I'm not about to go there. That's stupid. I'm not even about to and, um, feed into that. Y'all, just ignore that. All right, just know they, they sacrificed their they soul to... To have a lot that's yours. They 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 hit a lot of blows. They went low and hit a lot of blows. Okay. Which is like sad on their part. Somebody does not embody divine feminine energy well. They're like a false feminine. A false divine feminine. Which is sad. Your intuition is coming into fruition. This is beautiful. I'm getting... You guys are bold and sweet. You're a sweet person. I feel like you may give. You don't mind giving. People... They, they It's like this karmic was going around telling people, oh, you don't like to give. You stingy. They try to make it seem like you're not a giving person when you are. All right? It's like... I don't know who these people are that was lying on you. Yeah, nine of coins says somebody's self-worth is like fucked up. They don't love themselves. All right. It says here. I thought it was safe for for wishing here, but it says fulfillment. Yeah. Reward of your labors. Y'all about to receive a lot of reward. Your status is about to go up because you're you're receiving like a lot of abundance. Like I'm telling you, like some like your status quo. Like, your whole entire life is leveling up. Like, y'all going to have options and choices. And I feel like y'all could have made the right choice, the right option, the right choice in life. One thing about Papa Legba is that he is, like, considered a reach of crossroads and decisions. All right. If y'all are connected with Papa Legba, you work with him. And not in the way these dumbass karmics think. I feel like you are receiving a huge open like he's opened up a huge road of prosperity for you and this is your rewards it's like it's almost like the spirits even papa lake but i knew you could do it but there's always that one percent chance that you could come on earth and get distracted like the wrong demon the wrong devil can get to you and that's it you know it's all about choices it's like even when you like hear certain people's story you are here it's the choices that they made in life that led them down this road a lot of them talk about how you know they had a choice to do this that, and the third and they chose opposite they chose that was what was more comfortable they chose their ego right and you know they ended up failing but I feel like you guys made the right choice. And Papa Legba, one of your ancestors, our ancestors, and, and this is by God's will as well, okay? A huge prosper, prosperous road is opening up for you because you made the right choices, okay? Remember when I say God judged you in a good way, all right? It's like God ordained this, this, Divine orchestration with Papa Legba, Legwa Ishu, however you identify him. This is happening because God ordained. Okay? I don't want to hear no karmic saying or reaches don't believe in God. F off. Stop. Okay? Listen. A huge road is opening up for you. And it's guiding you towards wish fulfillment. All your, we your dreams and wishes is going to come true. I don't know. I almost said weed like some of y'all gonna be stepping into the weed business y'all thinking about that all right because i'm seeing like bush growing here all right and i feel like that would be a good idea for you guys all right i'm just seeing like a lot of bush growing and y'all creating a lot of abundance behind this all right i feel like y'all could even did y'all calculations already like you can make a lot of money you could have someone in the background trying to leave you left out in the cold okay so you won't have this Listen, a huge role opened up for you, man. That, that's dope. Look at this. You guys made the right decisions in life. All right? Oh, my gosh. Y'all made the right decisions in life. Even if you felt like you made a mistake, no. You did good. Because in the end, you chose good. You chose you. You chose opposite of what 
anyone could have thought you was going to choose. There we go. Yeah, somebody can't spell your name, or they, they don't know how to spell your name. I don't know. Somebody, this look, look, this delusional witch need healing. All right, it's funny how my deck is in reverse. She needs healing. Yeah, she got a death spell on her. I feel like something, her career gonna come to an end. Something in her life is coming to an end. She could have tried to use Papa Legba or any other Reaper. I'm here in issue. What a damn shame. Y'all fucking crazy. I don't know what be wrong with y'all. Like, why y'all be trying to do stuff like this to people? Listen, they don't even want to think about their death spell. They don't want to take accountability. Like, no, I didn't do that. They don't want you to think it. But they did. Yeah, listen, it worked on them. This is, listen, they can't run from it. Their mind is spiraling out. All right, with this page of story reverse, I'm just getting, like, overthinking. Like, they can't take it no more. Someone is literally about to explode. It's their spell. They're not, listen, I'm getting, this person tried to block death from coming. But I feel like that was blocked. Somebody gonna have a heart attack. This is real bad. Seeing someone's heart stopping. Someone gonna be having nightmares. Somebody cannot cross over to the other side. Like when they pass, they either going straight to hell or they gonna be stuck somewhere in like limbo. And I I, I see it. It's, it's somewhere where they can't escape. And it's actually like, it's like a dome. All right? It's so weird. It's like they're going to be trapped somewhere. And I feel like it's their punishment, their judgment. Someone is not an impress. Someone is really, 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 really holding back the fact that they're not an impress. All right? And what I'm getting with that is, like, this person is holding back what they've really done to people, which is keeping them in this stagnant impress energy, distorted impress energy. I feel like, honestly, this person did not realize the cat was out of the bag. I don't feel like this person is going to expect their exposure. I don't feel like they're going to expect it. Yup, they're going to be heartbroken. And I'm getting heartbroken and deceased. Damn, spirit. Spirit really put them death spells back on their asses. Somebody may die of a broken heart. But like these karmics wanted you to die of a broken heart. They wanted your heart broken to where you would die. Like you will experience so much pain or fear like you will just die. Like your soul just be snatched out of your body or like the reaper be waiting. This person really trying to like orchestrate a whole like setup spiritually. Like a spiritual setup. This is wild. I feel like they're stuck at a blockage. That shit, I'm getting uh-uh-uh. That shit worked on them. This person was doing sex magic to call in your energy. They got karma for that too. Nope. Y'all, listen, y'all are not lovers. Y'all are meant and destined to be separated because this motherfucker is going to the grave. They don't serve you no purpose. Yeah, listen, this is bad judgment. With this judgment in reverse, I'm getting a bad calling. This person is being called and it is no good. It's not good. It's not good energy. Not to classify as good or bad, but the energy that they're going to be feeling is not good. They're going to be feeling good. Yeah, they're going to, listen, they're going to wish that they can go back up to earth. They're going to wish that they love their lifetime on earth. I'm telling you. All right, because the place where they're heading, I'm telling you, it's that abyss. I'm telling y'all, it's, it, listen, ignore hell. For some of you guys, they may just go to hell, but I'm, I'm getting y'all the, the great bottomless pit abyss because they're pitiful. They sacrifice their own life to take yours. That's a goddamn shame. This could be a male or a female. They can already be in a hell state right now. They're, and they don't want to go to the abyss. They don't want to go there because they know there's no return there. They go into the abyss and I'm seeing like... This person is trapped all in their head, man. Anyway... The abyss, listen, wow, you guys know it. This high priestess, you guys know what the great abyss is. You're tapped in. This, Listen, there's a false high priestess that's not receiving no download or messages. All right, and I feel like she is trying to, not to say that she's not, but she's not receiving any download or messages like you. But she's trying to put on like she is. Like, I feel like anything that she's picking up, if you know who she is, I don't feel like it's real. I feel like she got it from you. Okay, listen, I don't feel like someone's going to be moving forward in life moving forward like somebody's gonna stop doing something all right y'all gotta put these cards back up right this is god's judgment this is god's doing okay yeah listen god is protecting you always this karmic they don't understand god they would never understand god the right way not to say there's any right or wrong way but maybe this person's looking like oh you don't look at god right listen 
Listen. Your intuition is coming into fruition. I'm telling y'all, somebody got straight karma. All right, they in spiritual jail. And they're hanging like the hangman. Somebody's going to be hanging from a tree in the, in the bottomless pit abyss. I'm telling you. All right? I'm seeing like a tree. I saw a tree there. That's crazy. Like a dead tree. It's, it's craziness down there, Moss. Crazy. Like, I don't even want to fucking... Listen, that's a place where nobody really goes. Okay, God forbid a, a, a star seed gets trapped there by a wicked witch or some shit trying to trap you there. Like, that would be terrible because to get that, the rescue of a star seed that's stuck in the abyss, not that that would ever happen, but let's just say it would. You know what I'm saying? A wicked witch trying to trap y'all in the great abyss. You know, y'all spirit team got to fight off a lot of wicked and um, evilness just to get to you. So I just imagine this karmic when they get down there. Ain't no spirit coming to save them. The hell, no one's going down to that abyss. <laughs> Not for this karmic anyway. Uh-uh. No. Not to say that, you know, beans are going there, but I'm just saying. They're not going to be saved. They're not going to be saved. Tell me I got your shades on. All right, this, like, somebody's being shady. Somebody don't like, you know, the fact that people throw shade at them. Like, this is someone that can throw shade, but they don't like when people throw shade back. Someone could be a hypocrite. They trying to say you're shady, though. But I'm getting like, they're shady. They're the shady ones, and you could have thrown shade back, and they ain't like it. And they want to say, oh, why are you scooping low, blah, blah, blah. They're ridiculous. Someone is definitely hurt, angry, and in their shadow. All right, someone is trying to say, like, they're, they're not a conspiracy theorist. Like, they're not in their shadow. They're right about you. All right. This person is trauma bonding. I feel like with this trauma bonding, this person, they're, they're utilizing this way to, like, attack you. Them attacking you as a way to, like, trauma bond. Like, they're attacking you to, like, trauma bond. Exactly what I'm getting. All right. Yeah, you guys are a special unicorn. All right. And I feel like with that, with, what I was saying with that trauma bond again. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. They went through this before with someone, and they and that person could have definitely attacked them. They was right, but now they think everyone is like that. They're not healing. Their inner child could have, you know, been disappointed before, and they never healed from that. So now whenever they deal with disappointment or sadness or betrayal, they don't know how to handle it. But you're a unicorn here. In the fact, listen, you're a fashionable person, a witch, good witch, and you're a billionaire. All right, listen. Wow, this person's a bitch. You're being a bitch because you're meant to be a billionaire. This person a narcissist saying they look better than you and they're a better oracle. That's what made them a narcissist and they said they they a legend. They know they all of that. This person trying to steal from you though and they're mad because they can't. <sighs> Guys, I'm about to go. I feel like someone's a witch. Like, like they do witchcraft. Voodoo. Hoodoo. That's what I feel strongly. Yeah, and they feel like privileged. Like they feel like they can do this but you can't. They feel like they can fuck other people over they can use the ancestors to attack people and nothing bad could happen they this is like they love the gaslight they're a gaslighter here okay they need to stay in their lane they need to stay in their lane they're not listen they need to stay in the lane to do the work that they that they were sent here to do on this planet okay if they know they ain't no conspiracy theories why the hell are they still coming for you because that's a whole conspiracy all right y'all like i said i'm about to go I'm going to pull y'all one of these Mystic Martian Oracles. This is a dope deck. Since tomorrow's Memorial Day, y'all can cook for your ancestors and do a little memorial for them. Alright, because our ancestors did die for us in war as well. Even the cosmic ancestors that's that's in that was in war. Alright, fighting for us. Alchemy, you guys are creating right now. 
all right your destiny is straight magic okay i feel like you guys got people watching you i'm getting like an inside job whoever's watching you they're part of some type of inside job to go after you this could be like illuminati with this damn triangle all right you guys are like a, a star being a star seed and you guys have like reptilians attacking you in the 3d and they're masked what's their mask their human vessel their human body i can't make shit up alpha draconians they're like headmasters draconian i swear to god all right take out take that how that resonates for you but these mofos know that you're activating stepping into your star seed power all right listen with this shadow this heavy shadow energy heavy black magic involved in this and these draconians did a lot of black magic we know this right this person is corrupt unethical they're part of an occult i told you this is like an inside job like illuminati right when i said that draconians came out i can't make it up all right argovans manifesting i told you y'all creating multi-dimensional perception attunement you guys are definitely in tune all right and that's what i'm getting attunement here let's look up attunement to get a better um um this idea of what it is but with this multi-dimensional perception remember we said you guys can see within multiple dimensions and some of you guys can even like astral travel to other dimensions some of you guys are having other lives in other dimensions okay yeah to bring into harmony yeah you guys are here to bring a lot of love and harmony onto this planet Listen, y'all could have been dealing with a tall gray that like to study on fucking humans. Like to freaking be scientists of humans. Okay, I'm getting a lot of these scientists, be grays, wow, mantis beings. Eggma, exclusive, sensitive. Somebody could be a mantis. Man in black, ooh. Someone is masked. I'm telling you, some of these people on this planet they may have this body suit but they really like they could be a mantis or like a draconian or like a negative gray this could be like an earth sign okay y'all are healing and overcoming and transmuting all this negative energy alpha centurions foresight planning strategy this y'all could be like like heli heli hella telepathic here all right i'm even getting like telekinesis okay yeah a few times I said to myself, I just wish that I can just bring, like, move stuff with my mind. Like, I'd be, like, on my bed comfortable, and I'd be like, damn, the charge is on the other side of the bed. I wish I can just use my mind to bring it to me. I feel like I definitely have the gift of telekinesis. I just can't use it on this planet. Maybe not now, anyway. All right, look, you guys are so inspirational. Your whole entire life is an inspiration. People be like, like, oh, like, you know, I just want to be in that energy. Like, your dreams inspire and, uh, and activate other people's dreams. You could even inspire and activate this person, but they wanted to take from you. This person worked for the Greys or the Draconians. They say they work for, like, light beings. I don't feel so. I feel like they're reporting back their spirit. When they sleep, their soul and spirit is reporting back to them starship that full of that's full of grays and draconians and reptilians and could be mantis they family could be mantis or mantians okay i mean it is what it is i'm not judging any star races but you do got some negative ones right tall white okay uncertainty distrust guarded this person is so uncertain about you they're for, they like awkward around you because they can't feel like they 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 they're uncertain around you because it's almost like they want you they don't want to say it but they want you to feel their energy like can you feel my energy you get what i'm saying but it's like a part of them don't trust you that you're gonna pick up on the right shit who is this weirdo then why even be curious if you feel like you know they that you're gonna be wrong they want to know about their ancestors but then it's like they don't trust you i feel like they don't trust themselves all right don't allow this person mistrust for self to make you feel like you a bad person okay listen blue aliens i never even saw this before wow all right bird beings okay philosophy releasing karma mysticism you guys this listen it could be a blue avian but i feel like y'all definitely have some star beings galactic ancestors that's helping you release karma 
and helping you tap into your mystical side even more and help you tap into your inner philosophies. The philosophies that you tapped into on, in your, on a crown level, or on your, in, well, that's tapped into your crown, that's within your crown, I should say, and in your heart. All right, it's like you you was a philosopher in the past life. So you guys know a lot that's in you. That's a, this is why your ancestors protecting you so hard because you the truth. You're not a liar like this person that's lying about their spiritual journey. All right, some of y'all could could be, you know, part blue avian and Larians here. All right, somebody's shadow is haunting the fuck out of them. This shadow won't leave. Someone, like, y'all could be seeing 7-Eleven or y'all could have went to 7-Eleven. Look, somebody could be an Anaki. All right, but they could be an egotistical one. Someone is not who they say they are. I promise you. It says blue avians are mammalian. Wait, mammalian? Wait, <laughs> mammal. Mammalian, I guess, slash humanoid ET. It was like a tongue twister with bird like features. Their origins are unclear. Encounter reports claim they are now from another multiverse. You see? I, I will believe they're from another multiverse. And they could be here. Because well, I said if some of y'all are experiencing other realities throughout the multiverse. Like we're from the multiverse. Right? But I feel like there's some blue avians here that's cause coming to assist. Alright? I'm getting there the ancestral connection. One of you know, oh my gosh, I'm getting one of these blue avian ancestors could be traveling. One of yours that's connected with you. This is not for everyone. Take out resonate, but I'm getting like you have one connection with a blue avian, all right, and it could be traveling through the multiverse right now, all right, to to collect tools to help you detach from this fucking tall white person that's depressed. Okay, the, they got like depressed ancestors. It says, though, originated from our local star clusters. Okay, yeah. So, like I was saying, they could be traveling the multiverse right now. Alright, but it says that they originated from our local star clusters. Okay, blue avians have some resemblance to the offshoot of Larian's genetic lineage known as the blue people. That's fucking sick. Look at that. How I put Larian's and blue avians. So, this, I know what I'm talking about is true. There's, there's definitely... A known blue avian that's connected with you guys, okay? And that one connection could lead to so many other connections that's connected with these blue avians. Alright, it says the blue avians are 6th to ninth density, dimensional, tall with slender body frames. They are covered in soft bluish to indigo feather down. They are a cool, calm, and diplomatic nature and have a profound and intelligent understanding of ontology, I don't know, philosophical and metaphysical physical phenomena they are well versed in the law of one material egyptian sunbird god Ra. you see i was thinking of egypt but i didn't want to jump because i'm like hmm the bird features i didn't want to jump and that's probably why she say it comes from our local star clusters because they are well versed on the law of one material egyptian sunbird Ra. they could be connected with them that's what she's saying are getting yet they re they are remarkable time traveling experts you see i did not just pick up one in the multiverse right fuck freaking now okay using what is this spheres orbs <laughs> teleportation technology this is why y'all are good teleporters all right that's what i'm getting all right enough is it's not just because you're connected with the Zen. There's other things, too. But I'm getting, like, this is standing out right now. This is why you guys are good teleporters, good flyers, good travelers. Because you're connected with the Blue Avians. Like, this is, like, in your DNA. They go way back. They're actually very ancient. I'm telling you. That's what I'm getting. All right. It says Blue Avian ETs have been re re referenced in many ancient mythologies. Documentations, including Mayans, Egyptian, Hindu, Babylonian, lectures, and artifacts. All right, it says the blue avians archetype coincides with what history labels angels and are known as the ancient builder race and architect of this quadrant of the universe. The blue a avians mission is largely to protect all of life and to assist in the development of human ascension. I'm getting like you guys are meant to protect plants. And then I say y'all here on the mission, seeing some of y'all dead ass coming here. As a blue avian. Like you can shapeshift to this 
side is part of you and it's like you have dummies that'll be like how is that possible and i just literally explained it it's an ancestry thing we're all connected please don't sit up here and believe that only one person is is connected with isis and no one else is like it all depends on how you move and operate you know if you doing bullshit of course you're going to be disconnected from the ancestors until you do the work and then they, they could they would accept you again if they see that you're serious you know if they see within your heart you're not going to make any more bad decisions all right but we're all connected man listen some of y'all could have saw a feather here yeah some of y'all see birds a lot all right I, I like some of y'all could be seeing feathers collected the feather y'all see birds a lot it's, it's it's them at least one of them all right it may be like you may see different birds but it's like a, a particular bird stand out the most here this is, I feel like it's an ancestor that is a blue avian here, okay? This karmic, I, I feel them now saying that's not your ancestor. That's my ancestor. Da, 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 da. I knew about the Lemurians first. They, this is someone that's fucking crazy. They got like a gray brain. I'm telling you. All right, listen. Somebody receiving messages from the devil. All right, you guys are an Arcturian here. Look, reptilian, bam. Somebody is like a, a reptilian masking themselves as an Arcturian. Or they're masking themselves as like a spiritual leader. That could be a part of their bullcrap mission here to keep this planet in darkness. And how they could do that? Well, they have access to do it. They have access to do a lot of stuff. These, these elites, these occult members. Y'all don't know what's going on in the cosmos, karmics. There's a lot going on in the cosmos right now. A lot of rebuilding, restructuring. Oh, and, and, and war, okay? I feel like, you know, some say the war is over. Some say the war is going on. For me, I feel like... For me, I feel like the war is over and we are rebuilding. But I am seeing, like, war in between because I'm seeing, like, past timelines that was happening in the cosmos. I personally believe that and that's what I feel. Maybe I'm feeling the future timeline and I'm already there. So, thank God me and mine survived, Okay? Me, my, you know what I mean? Me and my family, we survived. Because if I'm there, they're all there. All right, but um, that could be it. I'm feeling a future timeline, but I just feel like, you know, the war is over. And we're just cleaning up now. And a part of cleanup is stuff more falling. This is how things get to fall because we are winning. We're taking our planet back. You know, don't listen to them karmies that say there's nothing going on. Ain't no plan. Like, Y'all know what's real. Y'all know what's true. A lot of people that don't want to believe in this is afraid of them being destroyed or, or falling with the collapse themselves. You know, when that great separation comes, they're afraid that they're going to be in that pile of dump that's not being saved. That's not being, re you know, anointed, chosen by the Most High. Okay, but, you know, you make your bed, you got to lie in it, y'all. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.